Hi Trinity, welcome to worship. If you're visiting or are new to Trinity, we're glad you're here with us today. Whether you're a guest or a member, we'd love to know you're here. Please fill out the attendance card you received on the way into church or register your attendance online at trinityroselle.com slash online church attendance. Let us know if you'd like us to contact you, if you have a prayer request, or if you would like any other information. Last week, we heard DCE Kevin Borchers tell us why youth mission trips are so important to the spiritual growth of young people and why we can't just replicate the experience locally. Here are some thoughts from Joey Shubat, one of the students heading up to Wausau this summer. Hi, I'm Joey, and when I went on my first mission trip to Rhode Island, my faith was impacted in such a unique way. The Fellowship and service all rooted in Jesus was just such an amazing and unbeatable experience. And one of the greatest things about these mission trips and why I'm so excited to go on this mission trip to Wisconsin is to be able to watch everybody grow in their faith, especially the newcomers. This year has been a challenging year for youth ministry with all the staff changes and the upcoming move from the community center to the main campus. Thankfully, we've had a strong core of adult volunteer leaders who have provided continuity and support for our high school students. Hello, Trinity. My name is Tony Mitrup, and I've volunteered with the youth ministry for about 16 years now. After serving with various ministries here at Trinity, I discovered youth ministry was my jam. Is it weird if I say jam? A little, but keep going. Okay, great. Let's just say I enjoy inspiring youth and pointing them to Christ, and this is a calling. So when the need presented itself, the adult leaders, Leah, Tom, Emily, Jill, Stephen, and myself, unanimously decided to keep the spring session going and make the mission trip happen. It's a pivotal event in their faith journey, and we didn't want these 25 dedicated young women and men to miss out this year. And of course, it wouldn't have happened without your support and fundraising and encouragement. So thank you, congregation. So one, one of the experiences on the mission trip that uh, hit me the most was in South Dakota last year. We had our Trinity group devotions at, at the end of the night and the devotion was about the masks that we wear. And it really um, got emotional as, as people uh, responded to that and shared their stories and challenges. After, after we wrapped up, I went back to the room that uh, we were staying in and there was a group of guys all in a circle, arms around each other, just uh, praying uh, for each other and about the night and their experiences and just to see them do that on their own without any adult prompting or supervision was uh, amazing. It was a God sighting and that's that's what happens on these mission trips. We all get closer to God, and we're always surprised when we look around and see how God's acting in these youth. We will be commissioning our youth mission team at our Sunday services this weekend. Trinity's Dignity for Girls team has their next workshop this coming Saturday, July 22nd, in the Family Life Center from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Dignity for Girls creates hygiene kits for girls and women in Liberia. People are needed to cut, sew, surge, iron, measure, and more. If you can't sew, no worries. There are still plenty of things you can do to help. It's helpful if you RSVP in advance on Realm, but walk-ins are also welcome. With the sale of the community center to the village of Roselle, it's time for Trinity to vacate the building. Over the next few weeks, we will be moving a lot of furniture and equipment back to the main campus. We need some strong backs to help with that. And if you own or have access to a box truck we might be able to use to help move things, we could really use your help. If you'd like to help or have a lead on a truck, please contact Teresa Middlebrun at Trinity. You can call her at the church office or email her at teresam at trinityroselle.com. And watch for our big Trinity garage sale coming in mid-August. We'll need people to help with that too. Pastor, let's worship. <laughs> 